You know why? Because you're crazy. And the more you try to prove them wrong, the crazier you appear. You are invisible now. out here back up out here with another video man uh cuz here with me make sure y'all subscribe to his channel make sure y'all subscribe here you know um i'm out here you know just trying to figure out what the fuck i'm gonna do with this channel man um i'll do a couple reactions for y'all my nose is running and shit uh make sure my fuckers just tune in you know what i'm saying today we're reacting to a video from Wancy or Wancy. This is uh, my crazy ex boyfriend. We're gonna go ahead and hop into it. Uh, it's Young Tree Savage. We're in a tree house. Let's get it. I don't gotta say too much. Here's the story I was 16 years old and we had met on Facebook. Right. He went to a school. I feel like I was too close to the camera. That's my fault. We had a really great time together and we actually ended up dating. The first time that he came to my parents' house, he had an anchor monitor on for house arrest, and he wouldn't tell anyone why. Right. And since he was a minor, we couldn't find out. Now, my parents obviously didn't allow us to hang out, so we had to hang out at his house or at around town at the YMCA camp. I was rebellious and naive. Things started to get weird when I noticed his family was pretty odd. One day while we were having sex in his bedroom, I saw his You're father freaky. looking through the blinds. I screamed and called him out for it, and his dad ran off. He told Damn. me that his dad was into redheads, and he just liked to watch us. I went to leave, and his mom was doing crack in the kitchen. So, yeah, I Damn. decided it was time to break up. This is when it got bad. He actually started crying, and he told me that he's in cancer treatment, and that's why he needs me. That he doesn't have long to live. Blah, blah, blah. I actually believed him, and I told him we could be friends. Right. And this is when the stalking began. <laughs> he switched schools to my high school, he but he never went to class. He would just stand outside of my classroom looking inside until it was passing period. Whenever I would leave class, he wouldn't address me. He would always just follow about 10 to 15 feet behind me to my next period and just stand outside the classroom again. I was too intimidated to say something to him. He was six foot four and kind of a heavy set guy, so I kind of just let it happen for weeks. Yeah. It started to progress to where he would follow me home every day. He would get on the same exact bus as me and walk 10 to 15 feet behind me all the way to my house. He would stand outside just staring up at the windows until around the time my parents got home, and then he would just leave. Yeah. I finally had enough, and I told him to screw off and leave me alone. Should have been said that. I told him that we could no longer be friends or even acquaintances and to just forget about me. Should have been However, said that. that only escalated things way further. I started getting about 150 calls a night. Damn. Half of them were screaming death threats and in detailed torture methods that he wanted to do to me. And no. the other half were him singing love songs that he wrote on his guitar. Every time I blocked his number, he seemed to just magically get a new one and leave even more messages. I woke up one day to see that overnight, he had left me one of those singing, dancing snowmen on my porch. He had stabbed it in the head and the knife was still sticking out. No. He covered it in his liquid deodorant that I had previously mentioned liking the smell of, and I noticed there was a hole where the little song recording device was. Right. When I pressed the hand, it wasn't the regular Frosty the Snowman that usually played. It was his own voice saying eerily, uh -huh. I'm going to have you forever. I'm never going to let you be. Wow. I was absolutely done at this point, and I told my parents, who then contacted the school. Should have been to death. They suspended him from school, but he still waited at my bus stop every day, wow. and also walked to my home with me. One day he actually ran at me like he was going to tackle me or something. When what I tensed fuck? up for the impact, he stopped and hugged me. It wasn't a regular hug, though. It was like he was trying to crush me. I was five foot one and about 90 pounds at the time, and he actually ended up cracking one of my ribs. 
I cried, and he started crying too, before then running off. Damn. He left me a voicemail where he apologized in song. This one night is the night that I'll never forget, and it's actually the sole reason that we got a restraining order and my dad getting a gun. <laughs> I woke up one evening for no reason. I was just fully awake. I got up to go to my kitchen and get a glass of water to relax, and in the reflection of my fridge, I saw movement in my backyard. Right, what was it? I couldn't really see well because it was so dark outside and so light inside. Right. So I went to the back sliding glass door to get a better look. When I got a little closer, I was met with the silhouette of a six foot four man standing just outside the door. My stalker X was actually in my backyard under my room at three in the morning. He was just staring at me. He said, fucking I yelled out. and my parents got up, but he was long gone by the time my dad went outside. Y'all need cameras out there. There happens to be a patio right outside my bedroom window that goes all the way to the ground. Right. So it's very possible that he could have been on top of the patio looking directly into my bedroom window before. We got a restraining order granted shortly after that, and my stalker ex dropped out of school. I haven't seen him since in person, but every six months he makes a new Facebook and he always tries to friend request me. Damn. I just block it and report it every time. Scary stuff. For real. Have you ever heard of that myth that if you wake up in the middle of the night for no reason at all, there's likely something looking at you? Well, maybe it's true. I mean, I don't know what he's doing now. I, I've heard really shit well. like that, but it's not necessarily that. true. I would say, but yeah, that was you know that's the first video back. You know, what I mean, I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's been a minute since I've been back up on here. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather. They cutting grass and digging dirt up and shit outside. You know, I got asthma. Uh, the weather's changing. It's cold one minute, then it's hot. It's warm and shit. Um, and just make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Um, out here, I got me some cookies and cream, so eventually I'll puff that for y'all. You know what the fuck going on. Uh, yeah, just subscribe to the channel. Um, I got a lot more reactions coming. Hopefully, I can get them all done or at least half of them done. Uh, I'm not going to tell y'all the, the exact amount that I'm aiming for, but I'm definitely going to be aiming for a high number of uh, videos. You know, So hopefully, y'all tune in. Um, I still owe y'all a shout out video too. I told y'all, but the only reason I actually didn't do it, this ain't the main reason, but one of the reasons that I didn't do it was, uh, like I said, the pre one of the previous videos from last, from a couple days ago or whatever, I said, the motherfuckers that were showing love to me or shit, and the reactions, they don't even fucking, like, I, of course I get love, you know what I mean? Um, and if y'all hear anybody, it's outside, so I'm gonna close the window, uh, you know, I thought they wouldn't be that loud. I'll close it for y'all uh, for the next video. Um, yeah, man. Uh, what was I saying? I went off topic real quick. Uh, uh, I don't know. If, if I remember, I'll, I'll say it in this video or I'll catch up with y'all in the next video and I'll bring it up. But um, yeah, man. Just Oh, the shout out video. I'm a, um, the reason, one of the main reasons I didn't do it is because everybody, you know, just stopped showing love. Like the people that were showing love to where I could be like, damn, she was showing love, he was showing love. They just stopped, you know what I mean? And I was like, and what's crazy is I would have did the shout out video. If I would have did it then, that means they still wouldn't show me. Like they just would have, now I don't know if they watch it or not, or, or not but you know, if y'all watch it, cool. But I feel like, you know, if you really fuck with me, we gonna be here. You know what I'm saying? Interactions, having interactions and shit like that. Um, but yeah, that's it, man. I'm gonna get up off of here because there's some interferences coming from outside and shit, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment, all that good shit, share it if y'all want to. Uh, this young tree savage, we in a tree house about this bitch. Oh, this was my crazy ex boyfriend by Warren C. I believe I'm Warren say I believe I'm saying the name right. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I'm off this bitch. First reaction back. 17-year-old Gogo Yubari. Gogo may be young, but what she lacks in age, she makes up for in madness. Ferrari is like Italian food. <laughs> 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 I 
やりたいどうなのおっさんこれでもまだ私を刺したいでも逆に刺されちゃったみたいだ